If you want to retain information for longer and learn faster, one of the best ways to learn anything is to teach others. Teaching forces us to make sure we deeply understand the topic and we can explain it in our own words. Whether you're a teacher, instructional designer, student or employee, chances are you'll need to teach others at some point. The problem is that the process of creating effective teaching materials can take absolutely ages, even if we know the topic we're teaching really well. One of my favorite uses for AI and ChatGPT GPT is to speed up content creation for learning so that we can focus our time on making sure learners retain that information that we're teaching. So in today's video, I'm going to share how I've been using ChatGPT with Vision and Dolly 3 to quickly create effective teaching materials that make learning stick. I've included all of the prompts in this video in the description below so that you can steal them and try them out for yourself. So hit that subscribe button and let's jump right into it. Okay, in this example, I'm gonna be taking a book that I want to teach my sales team. In this case, it's the ultimate sales letter from Dan S. Kennedy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my phone and I'm gonna to skim to a couple of pages that teach a particular topic. So in this case, I'm gonna try and find the section on how we need to relate to our customers and deeply understand what their problems are before we start any sales process. So I found a couple of good pages here and I'm just gonna take a couple of photos on my phone of maybe three or four pages and then we're gonna move over to ChatGPT Vision and upload those photographs. So what I'm doing here is I've uploaded those three or four photographs from the book and then I've combined that with a written text prompt. In this case, I'm asking ChatGPT to summarize the key points from those four book pages and then I also wanted to output a 20 minute lesson that I can use to teach some of my sales team effectively. Now for things like sales training, which are pretty much soft skills based, we want to make sure that the teaching session is engaging so that those sales professionals actually retain the information that I'm teaching. So I'm gonna add in a prompt here that says create a 20 minute lesson and I want you to use Gagne's nine events of instruction with immersion learning. And this will then follow a structure, in this case Gagne's nine events of instruction, to make sure that our teaching session is structured and the type of teaching we're doing is immersive and interactive and uses things like active recall, which really gets the learners thinking and using things in practical terms so that that information sticks. And as you can see, ChatGPT does a really great job of taking those book pages, summarizing them, and then generating this nine step teaching lesson. But if I want to copy and paste this, what I might then do is ask it to turn this into a table format that I can then paste into something like an Excel document so that I can deliver a teaching session or I can deliver that to my sales manager and he can then do that sales teaching himself following that instructional table. Now, one of the big problems with creating any type of content for learners is that we often use one source, in this case, those book pages, and then we want to try and create multiple different mediums in order to teach our learners. So for example, we might want to create a lesson, but we might also want to create something like a podcast or a quick audio file that people can listen to on the go. So here, what we can do is we can use ChatGPT again and we can now now ask it to create a short two to three minute podcast style script, which then I or one of my team can read out, or we can use some text to speech tools like Eleven Labs or Amazon Polly to actually create that really quickly and then deliver that as part of the lesson so that people can listen to things after the lesson has finished and consolidate their knowledge further. So again, we're simply gonna use the prompt here, turn the lesson into a short two to three minute podcast. So this is all pretty cool and the outputs we're getting are awesome. And we've already created two pieces of content in just a few minutes from our book pages, which normally would take absolutely ages to transcribe or to think up something ourselves. But with any effective teaching, we want to make sure that it's assessment based and it's interactive and that learning sticks. So what we can do here is we can ask ChatGPT to create some scenario based learning activities with assessments. And we can also ask it to generate a learning rubric so that we have some kind of system for assessing learners performance. With things like soft skills, we often need to grade people against a rubric, and so it's really helpful to generate. But normally, if we were making this up ourselves, we'd have to spend ages looking at how to create a rubric, thinking about the best scoring systems, and then generate that and output it along with the lesson, which can take absolutely ages. If I'm creating this for my sales team, ChatGPT can do it in a few seconds by using a prompt just like the one you can see on screen now. There are lots of great ways to create assessments from having ChatGPT GPT generate multiple choice questions to having it generate role play scenarios that learners can either work through in their own time 
or structure an actual role play using ChatGPT. Another thing that we can do here is to create a PowerPoint presentation, which learners can then take away and review in their own time. And we can turn our existing lesson into a PowerPoint slide really quickly using VBA code and a quick prompt into ChatGPT. So as you can see here, I've asked ChatGPT to turn that lesson into a slide PowerPoint deck using VBA, which I can then copy and paste directly into Microsoft PowerPoint and like magic, it will generate all of the slides. But at the moment, these are all text-based and they look a little bit boring. So let's see if we can make them pop a little bit more. So to create some images directly in ChatGPT, we can head over to Dolly 3 and then we can paste in our lesson plan and ask ChatGPT to generate images that match those lessons. And as you can see, it will output four images at once and then ask us if we would like to generate more. Now, the beauty of Dolly 3 in ChatGPT is we can actually work in a conversational way with ChatGPT to optimize these images, change them and keep them consistent or do whatever we want to make them as engaging as possible. So for these, we can copy and paste them into our PowerPoint slide and we can also incorporate them into the lessons that we're using to teach as well. So there you have it, in just a few minutes we've created a lesson, we've got a rubric, we've got an assessment, we've got a podcast, we've got a PowerPoint presentation and we've got a bunch of images all from just a few snaps of a few book pages that we wanted to turn into a teaching session for our learners. Now you can really dial this up and I've been using it for everything from teaching my sales team as in this example to even just teaching myself if I want to make sure I'm making learning stick from a book I've read or from a YouTube video or from any medium where I'm looking to learn something from. Now I've got some more really great videos looking at how to generate prompts for learning which I'll put up over here which are definitely worth checking out. Thanks so much for watching and for subscribing and I'll catch you again next time. See ya!